Hello boys and girls, back with another episode of Old Dookie. I know you're probably tired of same videos about this truck. I, I kind of am too, but curiosity was killing me. If you'll remember last week, I had a lot of trouble with Old Dookie. It laid down on me, and so I uh, think I got it fixed, but I'm not sure if the fuel pump is not weak on it. And by the way, I really, really do all appreciate all the comments and suggestions that people have commented on on Old Dookie about what might be wrong with it. Uh, we had to put all the plants in last night off the porch because uh, it got so cold and it's going to get even colder tonight. And I've been a little bit lazy today, partly because it was so cold outside and I didn't want to get out in it. And so kind of waited till it warmed up this afternoon, but I kind of cleaned up my wife's car a little bit. She went to a football game for my grandson, and uh, I, she got it kind of in some mud. As I said, it had rained, so I kind of cleaned it up for her. And uh, this past week, I, it's, I don't know, when it rains, it pours for me one thing after another. So this little old cutlass I have, I call it... Uh, Let's see. Cut La SS. Just, just for giggles. Anyway, Cutlass. I'm having trouble with it now with the heat. And uh, the guy I bought this car from, it's this car's got a lot of miles on it. Anyway, I was going to do a video on what I'd done to it, but I, I don't have any fancy equipment or anything, so... I couldn't hold this phone and show you what I was doing. But to make, make a long story short, I took this off, this bezel, took this panel off, it pops out. I got into this, had to put the car in drive and uh, put the emergency brake on. First of all, I disconnected the battery. And I'm doing all these hand gestures because... I'm a big fan of Mr. Heavy Chevy if, on YouTube. If you haven't seen any of his videos, I would suggest that you watch them because they're very interesting. And I've got some real good neighbors here, but by golly, I wish he was my neighbor because I, <laughs> I would hang out with him all the time. But anyway, getting back to this story on this Cutla SS, I took all this stuff off, and this car, in those years, they had a little funny thing going on with the anti-theft system there's a little light that'll come on and if you don't do everything just right you're going to have to wait 10 or 15 minutes when you put the key in for it to start luckily i think i've got that problem solved i had to buy a new ignition put in here now i'm going with the heat problem and i really don't need heat i want defrost most of all as long as i can see how to drive i can put on another coat but that's I gotta have defrost, so I was back to this. I took this bezel off, got into this, and got some seven millimeter socket. Took all this stuff off, and uh, there's some little wires, little prongs, kind of look like they're like this, and they go around. So uh, the guy that used to own the car before me suggested I take all this off, take these knobs off, they just pull off, and uh, went in there. Got some alcohol and uh, some cotton. Cleaned all the it, the two little copper wires move up and down like this on some copper. So that kind of tells what what it's going to do. If that makes any sense, probably not. But anyway, I cleaned all that off. Got a pencil eraser. Excuse me, pencil eraser. Got tongue tied for a minute and uh. Cleaned the ends off, cleaned everything up the best I could, and I was hoping he said he had done this once before when this car done this, and uh, I was hoping that would solve my problem, but it hasn't. It's still kind of lukewarm, not real hot. This car used to run you out. I mean, you turn on the heater, it'd run you plumb out. It gets so hot. Now it's just opposite. So I'm probably just going to put on a heavy coat. Hope my defrost will work in the morning because it's going to get down in the 30s with some frost. And I get up in the morning early anyways and spray my windshield with some that canned stuff, you know, 
defroster, de-icer. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, hopefully that'll work. As long as I can see, you know, not, you know, I'm good. I don't have really that far to go. Okay, that's one problem that's been plaguing me for this week. It seems like I've got one thing after another. But this old car runs good. It should. I've just got a whole lot of new parts on it. It's funny how you think, this is how I am. If I buy a cheap car, I might as well have just spent a little bit of extra money and got a really good car because this car's had a new transmission, uh, intake gasket. Uh, let's see. This car's had a bunch done to it since I've had it. And you know, I didn't give a whole lot for the car. And... You know, I, ha I had to buy new tires. They was running on Maypops. And anyway, make a long story short, I, I hate a car payment with a passion. So I bought this, and I've had it for several years. It's, it's been a good car. It really has. I can't really complain. But anyway, sometimes it's better to bite the bullet and maybe buy maybe something a little bit better. But I don't know. Somebody else could have had this car and run on May Pops and everything else and drove it all the way to Florida and back and never had no problem at all. You know, I see them on the interstate all the time and my wife and I wonder, you know, how does that car or truck make it, you know? As soon as I get it, you know, boop, 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 everything starts breaking, tearing off and breaking down on me. But that's just, that's just me. Okay. Taking bets. What do you think? You think old Duke is going to start or not? I don't know. Let's see. Let's let's see for the start. I haven't started it in several days, and we'll just see for the crank up. Hopefully, it will. Maybe it's a start. Today's Sunday. Maybe it'll be a good week next week. Give it a few pumps. And once again, I hate that buzzer. Hate that buzzer. Hey, what about that? I haven't drove Dookie very much because I didn't trust it. I didn't know if it would run or not, but by God, it started up good. I'll show you the oil pressure and stuff. That's, I'm pretty, pretty happy about this. Really, I am. I thought it'd be a struggle. Uh oh Why do I always talk too soon? As I said, it's down in the mid-30s last night. It's going to be cold again tonight. It's about 50, 51 now, so it's starting good again. I'm really, really happy about that. Anyway, for all those that bet against Dookie, uh, you lost. <laughs> and I'm glad to, glad to be able to say that. I, to be honest with you, I didn't know if it was going to start or not either, so that's good. Let's see if it'll idle. Hey, there we go. I'll let it run a minute since it's cranked it up. Let it run just for a minute, warm up a little bit. My intentions was to go out here and start the 269 Chevys in the backyard, but I've kind of got sidetracked today with some other things going on, and sometimes the things you want to do, you can't do till another time. So, that's, that's the way life is sometimes, you know. But anyway, once again, a big shout out to Mr. Heavy Chevy and Mrs. Heavy Chevy. If you haven't seen any of their YouTube videos, I would suggest that you watch them. Real knowledgeable guy, and I've learned a lot from him and just watching. And my wife enjoys watching it too. So it's just, uh, you can have your kids watch his videos too. There's nothing bad going on. Hey, I appreciate you watching this video. Hopefully... Maybe a suggestion on this Oldsmobile. I'm, I'm thinking now maybe it's the thermostat on this. I'm not I'm not really sure. It's a 1998 with a 3.1 in it. And as I said, the motor's motor's real good in it. Uh, it runs real good in it. This old car gets pretty good gas mileage too. That's the reason I, I like it so well. And it's not a bad looking car. It kind of blends in with the rest of the Hondas and Toyotas and stuff pretty much. But uh, it's been a good car. We drove it to Florida once, and 
of course it broke down once the once we got to Florida the power steering pulley broke it was made of plastic so we had to get another one put on in Florida as I said it's it's been a cheap car but in a, in a lot of other ways it's been a good car I, I just hate car payments and if anybody wants to donate a GoPro camera to me or something oh I meant to ask you about that some of you viewers uh, I have a friend that's got a GoPro 3 I've been trying to get it from him and he says he's going to bring it and let me try it out but he hasn't yet and I'm starting to kind of wonder now if he's going to but let me know your opinions on GoPro 3's because I just like to have something you know I could use both hands both of them and uh, you know maybe show a little bit more about some of the things I'm doing without having to hold this and trying to explain it the video to you okay I, I appreciate you watching I really do please subscribe if you would and uh, if you don't know the story on old Dookie just go back just a very few videos that I've put up here lately and you can see what all the mess I've been through with it okay appreciate you watching I hope you and I both have a really good week, better than what it has been being. And I'll see you later.